Welcome back to the lab, folks. So we're going to take a deeper dive into this uh, Simpson 270 volt ohm milliamp meter here, or VOM, as they were called back in the day. We've got it equipped with uh, batteries, nine volt and one and a half volt. And we've got it, uh, we've got it all laid out here. I've marked these resistors. Well, that one's kind of, kind of difficult to read there, but uh, there's only four adjustments. Um, uh, despite this being a more precise meter than the 260, the circuit is basically the same as some of the 260 models. I mean, there are various different models that have various different features, but for the general meter, this is the same circuit for most of them. And uh, if we look at the schematic here, um, we can see, okay, so here, here's a R1 and R2. These adjust the current going through the meter. And so these have to be done first. So this, you check this out first before you do anything else, because that'll affect everything. And then the only other adjustments are on the uh, AC. So you've got this one here affects uh, all the AC ranges. This one here affects the higher voltage ranges. And other than that, there's just nothing else to change. This resistor here is, is the ohms adjust that you see on the front panel. But there's nothing to uh, to adjust the linearity of the ohms or anything else. You can't adjust the volts DC at all. You can't adjust the current at all. The first thing to do would be to check to make sure that reading full scale with 50 microamps going into it. And then the other one. So if we look here. Yeah, R2. So with, with the 50 microamps and then up to one milliamp. For the rest of them, it doesn't matter because once these two are adjusted, everything else should be fine. So the AC adjustments are, are detailed here. So the lower voltage range is up to 50 volts, uh, or R25, and then beyond that, uh, R22 also comes into account. So we can, we can check that as well. But I'll check also, I'll check the DC voltage and the DC current just to make sure that uh, um, it's not too bad, but there's nothing I can do about it. And here's our here's our tolerances here. So performance specifications uh, for DC voltage plus or minus 1.75 of full scale, AC voltage plus or minus 3% of full scale, resistance uh, plus or minus 1.75 of arc, and I think that uh, they they call for measuring that uh, here having a look at it um, halfway through. So I think that's what they mean by arc. So they're looking at the, around about the 12, that is right in the middle of the ohm scale. And there, are, these are the tolerances to look for. So let's, uh, let's begin. We're gonna begin uh, by, we're gonna compare it to this. This here is my uh, Ryman BM786, which is a pretty good little meter. And I've got these little resistance boxes here to help me set the current properly. So we can set that up accurately. And as you can see right now, I've got 50 microamps just running through the BM786. Once we connect it up through here, we're going to have to adjust that a little bit so we can get 50 microamps exactly here. And then this should be reading full scale. And if not, we will adjust, uh, we'll adjust R1 and then we'll bring it up to one milliamp. And if necessary, we adjust R2, which is over here. And then we'll go do the AC. So we'll do all the adjustments first. And I'm going to use my segment waveform generator to produce the, the lower voltage, R25 adjustment. And then we're just going to use the mains, the R22. I don't have a way to produce 250 volts AC. Wish I did, but I don't. Let's get the, the bottom on the thing and start checking it out. So we'll uh, get going with that. All right, let me hook this up and we'll come right back. Okay, so here we have, uh, it looks like we've got 47 milliamps running through it. And we've got to adjust that a little bit. Okay, we've got exactly 50 microamps shown on the BM786, the prime in there. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I, I've got the, the parallax right here. I don't know how I would set that up so you guys could, could check it. First of all, you're gonna be off a little bit because I think the, ca the camera lens is up there and the, 
meters down there, but it shouldn't you shouldn't be it should be too bad. I it, I'm looking at it right now, and it's it's bang on full scale. So that's I don't need to adjust that at all. Okay, so now we're going to we're going to go over to see what R2 is like, and we'll set up to do one milliamp. So let me do that. I'll be right back. We've got the prime and set up as one milliamp going into that, and yeah, again the Simpson is uh, this is just off by maybe a half the width of the needle, which is well within 1.75 of full scale. So yeah, again, uh, there's no adjustment is necessary here. That's that's amazing. After all the punishment this meter has been through, that is quite amazing. Uh, no adjustment required then for R1 and R2. And we'll go on then to R25 and R22. So let me set up for that. Okay, we're back. So I've got uh, 2.5 volts RMS coming out of the waveform generator coming in here and the BM786 is measuring it as 2.50 volts and we'll be using that red scale down there at the bottom so right this one here that says 2.5 volts AC and if we come around to that we're, we're right on the money right on the money that's that's amazing uh, sorry I haven't been able to adjust anything you guys but uh, yeah this calibration is going swimmingly as they say all right uh, well okay let me uh, let me reach uh, to put something into the AC here and uh, we'll see uh, we'll see what kind of voltage we get on this compared to this now of course here there's going to be a little bit more reading error in it because we're going to be somewhere in the middle of something all right let me set up for that and uh, be right back Alrighty, so I'm uh, measuring my AC. My AC is really high today. I mean, normally around 117 volts. It's, that's high. Okay, well, let's see what we can read here. Um, it, again, it, the AC scales are not quite as sweet as the DC scales, but uh, we are, if we look up here, so each one of these, <coughs> this would be 100 here, and each one of these tick marks is, is 5 volts. So it'll be uh, 105, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And you can see we're just over the 120 mark. And uh, yeah, within my ability to read this, we're right on. It is reading 121. Yeah, probably a good reason why these meters are worth what they're worth and why people spend the money on them. Uh, okay, well, uh, so we've verified all the adjustable stuff. I can't, there's nothing, there's nothing to adjust. Uh, everything is, is in adjustment, I, I presume from the factory, because I know the Canron pipe went out of business, uh, well, stopped doing business uh, shortly after I left there. I say they gave this meter to my brother-in-law and he's done nothing with it since. He's never had it calibrated or anything like that. So this is, this is the factory calibration and it's uh, it's spot on. So let's just uh, let's just randomly measure some DC voltages and maybe some DC current, and uh, we'll try some ohms and see where we can get from there. Okay, let's uh, let's do it. So we've got the my power supply here. I'm putting 10.0000 volts. So what are we reading here? So we could, there is a little bit of error there. Could it be switching? No, it's not. So okay. I'm looking at that and that on the 10 volt scale, I see that as being 9.9 .9 volts. And is that within the 1.7% uh, and it is 1.75%. So that's, that's within spec. It'd be nice though to be able to trim that out, but, uh, but it's, it's within spec and there's nothing we can do about it. That's good. Um, let's see if we can get something out of the next range up. Oh, that's a little bit more accurate than the 10 volt scale. That's right on, yeah. Okay, so we've got 160 volts there reaching on the Bryman, and we've got this on the 250 volt scale. So, that's uh, 
that's about a half a needle optimistic there. So, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's well within spec. Right on, right on. All right, I'm going to switch the leads around just to see, uh, check out the minus DC. I'll switch the leads around here. See if it come up the same thing. Yeah, exactly the same thing. Let's see if we can measure some current. Um, so see if we can get 500 milliamps running through it. And then we'll try to get it up to, I don't have anything here I can get 10 amps out of easily. So we'll, we'll try it up around three amps or so, or six amps. I think I can get six amps pretty easily. Okay, so we have this, it's on 500 milliamps DC and the Bryman's reading 500.7. That's as close as I can get it. Um, and this is reading exactly 500 milliamps on the scale. So it's 10 milliamps resolution between there and there. So it's, it's reading it just a smidgen low, but well within the, the 1.75%. Yeah, that's, that's really good. I can't complain so far. Um, let's, uh, let's try something a little bit more generous. Uh, we'll go into the 10 amp input here and uh, we'll do the same over here on this one. Okay, so here we have it set up on the 10 amp scale. And mind you, the 10 amp scale on these meters is not fused, so you gotta be careful that you don't really exceed the 10 amps by too much. Otherwise you could uh, burn up the shunt in there. So we've got 5.9992 amps, and it's showing up here is just a smidgen over six amps. So, yeah, it's well, yeah, it's well within spec. Amazing. Okay, let's, let's try some uh, resistance measurements. We're on the R1 scale here, R times one, and it looks like you're supposed to test 12 ohms here, and it should be between 11.2 and 12.9. So let's get uh, 12 ohms here. Okay, we're gonna use the Bryman to set this up. So we get, we'll get as close to 12 as we can here. It looks like we can get pretty close. Okay, and then we'll pop out the Bryman and pop in the Simpson. So let's, uh, let's zero it out first on the ohm scale. Okay, let's zero it out. And we'll pop that on there. Now, as I said, we're supposed to read between 11.2 and 12.9, uh, and it looks like we're at uh, exactly 12. We're right on 12. So yeah, that's a that's a hard pass there. All right, so let's get a uh, hundred. Uh, is it 120? No, one twelve hundred ohms. Okay, that's close enough. And now we're supposed to be see something between. 1130 and uh, 1260 so let's zero this range out and we're just a smidgen under 1200 so about uh, 1190 am I reading that right maybe 1180 that's within the specification well within it too okay so the next range up would be uh, like 120k. Okay, that's 120k. Take the Bryman out. Get this zeroed on the R times 10,000 scale. Okay. And of course, this one is supposed to be from 13, 113,000 to 126. Within the reading area, oh yeah, we're, we're well within there. It checks out from top to bottom, this meter checks out. We didn't have to adjust anything. Uh, 40 years of abuse and neglect and it's right on. I will use this meter whenever I need an analog meter. There obviously is a reason why these are famous meters and uh, why they still fetch a pretty penny today. The, the, they're just good solid meters in every respect. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for joining me today. Bye-bye.